Hey guys, <clears throat> so this is probably going to be the final hardscape of this tank. Um, I might have to add a little bit more soil in there later, I'm not quite sure. But So I've anchored the driftwood so it looks like a tree. I'm going to put moss on it later, remember, or some type of plant on it. Uh, so I anchored it with another stone, which I zip tied to it. Ideally, you like to, I think people use super glue, but I don't have any super glue at the moment. Um, so this is the final scape. Uh, I move one of the rocks more forward so it doesn't look as cliche, not cliche, but as artificial as it was before of all the big rocks in the in the back. So there's a couple of big rocks in the foreground and one big rock in the back, or two big rocks in the back. The back, I'm not sure what I want to do there. So I could fill that with white sand. I don't want the I don't want the back covered with plants. That's the that's the thing because I want the fish to be able to swim be around like you know basically around in a circle here. Um, so I like them to be able to do that. So I think I'll just leave that as it is now and fill that with white sand sometime a little bit later. I might put a cardboard cutout in there uh, just to push the soil back a little bit and then put fill it up with sand but I'm not quite sure yeah I don't I don't think I want to put plants back there because if I put plants back there the fish are not gonna swim around it most likely they're not gonna swim freely around it so I, I think I want to just leave it as it is but anyway just a quick video um, showing the scape at the moment so the next I bought the heater the light the filter and also the air pump which should be here it's coming from really actually pretty close it should be, probably be here by the end of the week or so um, the next step is to plant this to start planting the the tank and I'm just making some Anubiuses uh, here made some Cryptocorns some Luigia uh, no, I, I like to, Luigi is red, so I like to have a mix, uh, at least some red, so that it's not just a green island. Um, in front, I want to do like grass here or something like that, and some low, uh, some smaller um, green plants. And in the back, there's probably swords, like really big plants, like one sword there, one sword one sword here, one sword here, one sword here, one sword there. And then, you know, maybe, and then mo obviously moss on the, um, yeah, yeah, moss on the, uh, on the tree, on the tree, uh, on the driftwood. So, I don't want to make the tank fully planted because one of the problems I had with my previous 10 gallon tank was that the fish would just literally just hide in the plants, or the, or, or the plants would just obscure the fish all the time. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I definitely want to do a foreground grass here, like all on this side here. I definitely want to do that. So I, I'll need to buy that online somewhere. I can't get that from Petco um, at all. So I need to purchase that probably pretty soon as I want to plant sometime this weekend or early next week. Anyway. Hope you guys like that update on the fish tank and talk to you soon.